I've been shopping at Bath & Body Works since I was a little kid, so I'm always obsessed with their new collections, all of their products, like I look up the ingredients on the back. I'm here with you today with some more of my favorites, and a lot of them, so get prepared. The description box, um, I did a timestamp and also put for men, so that way if men want to fast forward through it and see if there's anything actually for you guys. Let's, Let's get started. <laughs> Recently, they just released bath fizzies, finally. And they're infused with shea, and they also have canola oil in them as well. And so I have four of those. I had four of those. I tried one last night. And now I'll let Snapchat show you my experience with that. So after I clean up my wonderful tub, I'm trying to figure out which bath bomb I want to use today. We all had to get a bath bomb and try it, be comfortable with speaking on it because we actually experienced it. So this one has a flower in it. All I know right now is that it has shea, they're infused with shea, and then they also have canola oil in them. And we did some research at work. And then they also fizz, keyword in the name, and then they just uh, fill the water with that scent, make the water really soft, put the fragrance on your skin for a really long time. And keep in mind, I still have that golden egg bath bomb from Lush because they had that Easter special or whatever, and I still haven't used that one because I think it's going to be too messy. Okay, this smells so good. I'm so excited. It's a flower. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, maybe I didn't need to throw it, but... <laughs> What's a flower? Like, come on! <laughs> this is so cool. And it's still fizzing in my hand, and it's popping and fizzing in my hand. Like, look how crazy that is. <laughs> Oh, I don't think the flat, it's like a real flower. I think it's just the sun. Oh, I was hoping for a flower, but it's still cool. They always release great collections kind of related to the season. Like right now we're transitioning to spring. So everything there right now is like coral and pretty. They kind of have like a tropical collection going on in this store. First two fragrances that I picked are Valley Blue Surf. The keynotes are Mandarin Blossom, Sunkissed Sand, Saltwater Waves, Wild Jasmine, and Blonde Driftwood. And so I'm familiar with Driftwood, Jasmine, and Mandarin because Mandarin's like oranges, so it's citrus. So I got a little mini shower gel of that one, which I dominated, should have just got the big one because I knew I liked that scent. And I got the body cream because I always like to use the body cream alone sometimes, even if I don't have the fragrance mist, which I know I do somewhere. I just that. I think I actually keep it in my car because I like to touch up while I'm in my car. So I like to sometimes just wear the cream alone as a perfume and it'll stay on all day. It's thick. So I have mini shower gel and body cream of that fragrance. And then I got Oahu Coconut Sunset. I don't really like coconut, but this one was more floral and I hate pink, but it smelled really good. So you guys know, like, I made an exception because I really like this fragrance. Of that, I got the mini shower gel. I got the aloe vera gel lotion, which aloe vera, I know, protects your skin when you're in the sun. It goes on really clean. It's cooling. And I also got the fragrance mist, which I like to touch up to keep also in my car. This is one I actually took out of my car just now because this one's such a pretty scent. Coconut wears really well with my body chemistry. And the keynotes for the Wahoo Coconut Sunset are Coconut Blossom Sparkling Bergamot Beach Tuberose Hawaiian Manoy and then Molten Amber. And then Manoy I know is um, in one of the True Blue Spa products I have. Manoy is really moisturizing. Those are the two fragrances that I got from like their Tropical Paradise collection. Oh, this next collection is uber recent. It's called their Paris Twist collection or Paris collection. And so all of them are really clean and nice and soft and just like welcoming and they're really fresh. That's what I like about this collection too. I mean all of the fragrances there are fresh. Working on that soon. So I got Rosé Champagne and I have the bath bomb of that one. 
and I have the lotion of that one. The key notes in this one are going to be sparkling clementine, crisp bergamot, apple blossom, pink pepper, blonde woods. And once I saw apple blossom, I was like, I know I'm going to like it. I saw clementine, and I was like, I know I'm going to like it. I like anything citrusy because it always stays on all day and it always smells clean all day. Like the bottle is square. Did you see the bottle? Take a picture of the bottle. Get a good picture of this bottle. The bottle is square. It's so cute. I fell in love with this one um, because of the bottle, but it is really moisturizing as well. There is vitamin E, vitamin B, and aloe in this one. And then same thing with the bath bombs, you get your shea and canola. And then I'm such an old soul. This one I get made fun of because people say it, it just smells too clean. It's just too clean. So the keynotes in this are French tulips, water lily, freesia blossom, sparkling mandarin, and sandalwood. And so it just it's just everything that's clean. And this one smells like you just went to Home Depot and you're walking around in the flower section. It smells like an actual tulip. Like it smells it smells like a flower. I just think it's so pretty. And I fell in love with because of bottle screen. Like they did really cool with the packaging. Everything's just like simple and sleek. I love this question too. So this one did not disappoint. There were two fragrances I didn't really care for just because I'm not really big on sweet scents. One of them had marshmallow in it and the other one I don't remember. So that's not really my scent preference. I do go for more so like the clean, the lightly scented. That's my scent preference. If it's like yours then you'll love all of the ones that I pick out and you won't have any trouble finding fragrances in there because I know it's really overwhelming. But if you do prefer other fragrances then Honestly, I'm so beneficial and I'm so helpful because you can just do the opposite of what I say. You can just go make a list of the things that I like and know, okay, I won't like that because I like opposite keynotes, you know? So either way, it's helpful. Okay, the next two came out not along with the signature collection, but it came out kind of like standalone, kind of like ingredients to treat your skin. There was coconut, there's honey, and there's also one with cucumber water. And so the two that I preferred were the, ironically, it was the honey and the cucumber water, but I actually ended up getting the coconut body wash. I don't really prefer sweet, but I do like to use it sometimes. I don't really know why I have the coconut, because I don't, I'm not really big on coconut, like with Oahu, I told you guys, I'm not really big on coconut, but I really, I don't know. Something about it draws me to it, and I feel, I like it because it's challenging to mix with my other fragrances. I think that's what it really is, because I'm trying to find another scent that it'll mesh well with, because I more so go for fruity, but I'm like, fruity coconut? It might work. So I think that's why I keep this one. And this is the Aloe Gel Coco Shea with Cucumber Water. And this one's just an Aloe Vera Gel Lotion. And it goes on really clean and soft. It's not gonna be like a body butter. Body butters go on really thick and they can leave a greasy feel, which I like the greasy feel because it keeps me really soft and moisturized all day. It kind of like recompensates for when I start to get dry. But some people don't like that greasy feel feeling. So if you don't like the greasy feel feeling, any aloe vera gel lotion like the Oahu Coconut Sunset Aloe Vera, it goes on really cool, soft, and it just takes a few minutes to dissolve. So these are two from the Coco Shea collection. They're not part of the signature collection. They do stand alone, but they're worth it. If you need to pick me up, you need to feel fresh, especially in Texas, this is a great one. Those are those two. So this unisex scent is one of my favorites right now. I fell in love with it because it's, it has that like, um, it gives me that pick me up. It's really refreshing, it's really cooling, it's revitalizing, it also has vitamin A, C, and E inside of it. Um, it's 1.9% it's peppermint oil. So I didn't read the back of the label. I told it in my previous video. You can go back and just watch the story in my previous video. So don't use this at night. It is really refreshing and it smells so yummy and it meshes well with any fruit fragrance that I have. So I like to sometimes do lemon and mint, blueberry and mint, um, apple and mint. So this one meshes well with any fragrance that I want to mix it with. That's why I like this one. Um, this is like my morning regimen. I love it. I have this with the shower gel and the lotion as you see right here no secret I did double up and I actually ended up getting uh, some of these for free because they always have promotions going on so I get their emails one time it was um, spend ten dollars get a free item I ended up spending thirty dollars and getting a lot of shit so I double up and I stock up also to cover my ass to have stuff for a nice gift and everyone loves it that one is called mintha and it's it's in the seal bigelow section also from the seal bigelow collection I have the lemon and that's also another great unisex scent I have the perfume of that which comes in this cute little square bottle and it's just lemon oil and extract 7.2 percent and then safflower oil 7.4 percent it's an ultra moisturizing skin brightening formula soap free and leaves skin feeling soft and supple. 
this one is really cleansing really refreshing very citrusy smells great on men and women overpowers all odors I have the cream body wash of this one I have the body cream which I like to wear alone sometimes it goes on really nice smells really fresh all day and then I also have the perfume so along with the mentha I also have the lemon from the Sio Bigelow collection it's a great collection. I root for it 100%. This is from the aromatherapy section. Aromatherapy, I know, all have essential oils in them. They all have their own essential oils. And I know essential oils are meant for like, natural healing. It has a eucalyptus spearmint combination inside of them. And I have the body wash slash foam bath and the body cream, which lays on thick. Like I said, I also like to use it as a perfume. I portray this scent as really soft and subtle. Some people say it's too strong and they make this space, but I think it's a really clean, soft scent. I love how it smells on mint and it doesn't smell like peppermint. It's a eucalyptus mint. So this is why that's one of my favorite ones. So this is another one from the Aromatherapy Collection. This is Boost. And this is from their Energize section. And this is Tangela Woods, the body cream. So this one has mandarin, bergamot, and it's the same thing. Essential oils, it says it's meant to help lift your mood and invigorate your mind. Oh, I think it smells amazing. These candles are all unisex, just scent preferences. This is Mahogany Peach. This one is really strong. Mahogany is going to be strong. Peach is going to be sweet. So it's a nice combination with this. The keynotes are Sweet Peach, Lux Dark Mahogany, and Ice Lavender. I'm a lavender fan. Next one is Midnight Blue Citrus. I love Midnight Blue Citrus. And there's Juicy Citrus, Fresh Spring Water, and Sweet Mango. Ocean Blossom and Driftwood. This one also can be kind of empowering. I've only burned it halfway. It's Orange Blossom Petals, Crisp Bergamot, and Soft Sea Washed Wood. It's nice. It's really fresh. It opens the it room. It just kind of like lifts the room. What am I eliminating? I like how fruity it is. I don't really have like fruit on fruit on fruit candles. I haven't burned this one just yet. Maybe I'll do this one as a giveaway if I reach a certain amount of subscribers. Like, honestly, I haven't lit it yet. I just like to smell it. I think it smells really pretty. The key notes in watermelon lemonade are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. So that's watermelon lemonade. This one, if you have an Airbnb, if you want your home to smell kind of like a spa, a good one for the bathroom. This has like a spa, a clean like scent. This is blue sandalwood and sage. And the keynotes in blue sandalwood and sage are sandalwood, Chris bergamot, lavender, French garden sage. So this one, there's something about this one I really like. And I honestly haven't finished burning it because I forgot about it. It was tucked back there. So I love this one. You're not forgotten. I love white gardenia. I don't care what anyone says about me. Another part of me being an old ass woman, gardenia makes my soul happy. It's such a pretty flower, but it's also another one I just don't want to light because I know I'm going to want to light it and not ever stop lighting it. So I'm trying to have self-discipline and teach myself to just burn it every two hours, but this one smells so good. It smells so good. So good. Keynotes in this one are classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, and white woods. Apples, that's why. So it does have like a little sweet scent to it. It's not like a strong gardenia. It's like a light, sweet gardenia. Those are all the candles that I love and adore that have my heart. With these next products, I'm kind of sneaky with them. I noticed the essential oil lavender is over in the aromatherapy section, and I know it's unisex, and it's a lavender and sandalwood. So sandalwood is strong. Lavender can be strong. In combination, this one smells so good. So it's going to be just like, kind of like your nighttime regimen. And this one's also infused with aloe, vitamin E, shea. It also has lavender oil in it. This one, another little tip slash trick, I spray this one. I'm completely out of it almost out of it right now. I spray this one on my pillows and my sheets at night. It calms me down, it soothes me. I love this scent. And this one, I think I got to sleep for free. So that's always cool because when this is just sitting there, I'm like, that clashes. It doesn't match with my decor. I don't like that. I need something to flow. I need things to be aesthetically pleasing. You know what I mean? So, and it blends, it matches, and I'll just have it sitting here just like that. So cute. I also liked the Wild Berry and Chamomile. They did have two other fragrances. It was Almond Vanilla and Jasmine Green Apple. And I have the fragrance mist of that. I also ended up getting the Clay Body Scrub, which is so fun. This one is so cool. This is a great experience. It doesn't do the same thing that sugar scrubs do, but these are also awesome because they extract all that dirt and still leave your skin really soft. I also have the shower gel of that, and I also have the body butter because sometimes I like to just wear the body butters alone and you'll smell that scent on me all day. So, lavender sandalwood, wall bear, and chamomile, my favorites. They smell so wonderful. So the next is lavender and honey. I've liked this one since for years. It's just so soft and subtle. Keynotes are French Lavender, Lily of the Valley, Nectarine de Provence, Sun-Kissed Honey, and White Oak Musk. 
and so I have the body creams of that I have the fragrance mist I have the shower gel and I have the lotion I do still get dry with the body lotion but it's a lighter moisture for like nighttime if I just want to like lightly moisturize before I get in bed you know nothing heavy I have the entire collection of that I even have the sugar scrub I think in my shower and I have three body creams I have it all over my room it's in my car it's in my shower the next collection is limoncello it's it's pretty similar to lemon lemon I think is strong from the Sia Bigelow collection I think it's stronger than this one but this one's gonna be a little sweeter I can't tell the difference I think my nose is powerful this one is sweeter the keynotes are sparkling lemon sugared mint fresh verbena orange blossom and then Italian cedarwood so there's the orange I love there's the mint I love there's the lemon I love and a little bit of sugar I like it's different than lemon and you can definitely tell the difference I like both of them I have both of them whatever let me live my life so I have the potty cream I have the I have two of the fragrance mist right now in case I run out because I have really like that one and then I also have the shower gels I don't have the lotion or anything which I don't I think the lotion would still be pretty powerful because lemon is strong so I think the scent and the lotion would still show up even though the lotion is a lighter moisture so I don't knock that one I think that one would be a good one on guys as well because the lemon from Sio Biglow is a unisex scent so I don't see why the lemon from this wouldn't be only because of the sugar it makes it a little sweet so um, you guys know I love spring and fall and all the wonderful holidays. This is the Spring Garden Hand Lotion with Olive Oil. And I have the hand soaps in there as well. This is Spring Garden. On the side it reads, Experience the refreshingly clean, irresistible scent of Spring Garden. A crisp blend of wild mint, fresh peppermint, and morning dew. So this one goes on really soft. This one, it like uplifts. When I smell it, it kind of like perks me up a little bit. Like it gives me a little bit of an oomph. So this is another great one for the bathroom. It has olive oil in it, so it definitely nourishes your skin if you wash your hands pretty frequently. Another one of the bath bombs I got is Beautiful Day. I have the entire collection from Beautiful Day. I'm not going to talk about it. It has my heart. It's had my heart back when it was green before they changed the color to blue. So Beautiful Day bath bomb fizzy. Can't wait to use that one. This one also is from Sio Biglow. This is the Rose Salve. And I have this a lot in my Snapchats. I always talk about my night routine sometimes and how I slop this on right before I go to sleep at night. Recently I saw a commercial the other day of a product that was released in the skincare market of some serum that has rose in it. And I'm like, huh, what do you know? I've been using this since before I can remember. And it's really popular in helping your skin. My skin, I do take pride in my skin because I do take care of my skin. And this is one of my skincare products. It's all natural. It's Rose Salve. Last but not least. Yeah, I'm still going. Now this product, like I said, you can't get it at Bath and Body Works anymore, but this one came through and it swooped my heart and it's I've been in love since then. I think I got this one around whenever they had their most recent semi-annual sale. It's now April of 2017, so it was their last semi-annual sale. The skin benefits, all the ingredients on the back. Oh my gosh, it's everything. The rice bran oil, the acai berry extract, the milk proteins. I went so much as to deeply research the ingredients in this, and this one is one of the most beneficial products that they have had at Bath & Body Works. I don't see many of their products with ingredients like this anymore, but this is a great one. Once I saw that and I read that and I researched the ingredients, I'm like, I have to have a lot of these. They were on sale for about three, four, five dollars each. As you see, I stocked up on this one. Y'all, I'm not even playing. On top of that, they had coupons, so a lot of them I got for free. That's why this one is my all-time favorite and I have so many of them. I stocked up so that I could have things to give as gifts as well. I don't give them as gifts too often. They have my heart. Maybe if I reach another certain amount of subscribers, let's say a thousand, I will give you three products of what I have. That's actually my goal in order to open other doors to grow with YouTube some more. Someone call me out and be like, where's my apple blossom and lavender? This, I have like all the body creams. I have the shower gel. I have the fragrance mist. They had a scrub that I wanted and I was hesitant on getting it and it was too late. They were all gone. And I know someone's out there enjoying them and it's making them that's my all-time favorite one right there apple blossom and lavender this like i said it's helpful either way if you don't like the same keynotes that i like just write a list and do the opposite of what i do but if you like this video i enjoy shopping at bath and body works and i plan on having more of them maybe like every month every time they have a new collection so if you like this video like it and let me know that you like it if you didn't like it comment and let me know why because i like to grow and change and do things different so i had fun you guys have a great day So this is behind the scenes of making this video. Um... Shit. Oh God, did it way too hot. Way too hot. Have a great day.
great experience at Bath Bottle Works as well because I like to try different things. We are ready to get started. Are you guys ready? Because there's so much shit that I like. I have so many great products that I want to show you that I'm in love with. My mind goes into like the most detailed creative things that I want to do. So I'm trying to make that happen. Um I haven't been writing them in order. I stopped doing that. Okay, you're fucking fish on. Alright, okay, so, so I'm open to trying different fragrances that I haven't tried in the past. Well, there's a lot of products I didn't show you guys in the video just for sake of the video not being an hour long. I'm trying to cut it down to 15 minutes. So the I'm sitting here <laughs> at the edge of my bed taking pictures of all the product right here. Just like rearranging them, taking pictures so that it can be a different view every single time um, uh, while I'm sitting down talking. I think I sat specifically to where there's white space right here, like next to me, so that I can have the products pop up right here. Um, then I have all the candles that I still need to take pictures of down there. I have all the product laid across my bed. <laughs> I have the list going, things I'm marking off. I'm going down the list, marking off the things that I've completed, taking pictures of. But I'm also organizing as I go along. So I'm putting the product that I haven't yet used back in the spot that it's not yet used. The stuff that I have used, I need to go through. Stuff that I'm, I'm currently using back in the bathroom. So Shoot, edit clean organized i didn't do any of the christmas stuff but i love christmas time stuff so it's a lot of work now i'm seeing it's no joke either you love it and you'll continue to do it or you won't and you'll give up because it's a lot of work and i'm like but i'm having a lot of fun doing this so i'm i'm anxious to see if i can grow with this i think i've sprayed on about four different ones in this entire video so i smell on this it actually is a nice little blend Gizmo! She'll just bark randomly. And get some tea. A lot of it's gonna be, um, some of them are unisex. Okay, I gotta kick the cat out, cause the cat, I can't. I don't know how to get out though. That's one thing, I'm just stuck. I'm stuck. Sorry, I, don't look at me like that. She's like, yeah, you are weird, I know. So I hope y'all enjoyed this.